You have just pressed play on what I believe is going to be one of the toughest upper body workouts we have ever done. We are gonna get right into our very first exercise, which is the chest press. So grab your dumbbells for that. And if you wanna start your watch, you can do that now. And let's do this. All right, we've gotta get ready to go in three, two, and one. Here we go, chest press. Exhale as you press that weight up. Now we will not be repeating any of the exercises until we get to that final superset. And then we will repeat some of the exercises. Whew. Breathe out good and things are going to move very quick. So you're gonna see the next exercise up on screen. I'm also gonna talk you through that next exercise as well. But again, things are gonna move quick. It's gonna be tough, but challenge yourself. This is just about 25 minutes. Next exercise is gonna be push-ups, so we're gonna pop the weights out of the way in three, two, and one. Good, pop the weights out of the way, right into push-up. Knees or toes, whatever you need, let's begin. So each superset is going to focus on one muscle group, so it's gonna be a big challenge. Good, keep your legs, glutes, core engaged. Press the floor away as you come up. You're halfway. Oh my goodness, breathe, you've got this. Next thing, if you have your box, we're gonna do incline push-ups. If you have a chair, anything like that, you can do that. If you do not have your box or chair, you're just doing regular push-ups again. So get ready to go into those incline push-ups. Here we go. And if you need to drop it to your knees, go for it. Just keep good form and press. Oh, amazing. You're halfway. Come on, keep it tight, keep it strong. Exhale and press. Next exercise is going to be a reverse grip press. So if you need to adjust your weights, you'll grab those. Last one, good. All right, reverse grip press, palms are just facing your chin. You can think about it that way. So palms are gonna be facing you. We're gonna lift and lower. Good. So arms are close to your body as well with this move. Elbows just slightly turned out as you lower down, but not nearly as wide as our chest press would be. So keeping that in mind for good form to maximize this exercise. Amazing news is we have one chest exercise left and that's going to be chest flies. So we're gonna open and close the arms in about whew, five seconds. Down, we've got time, one more. Down and up, awesome. If you need to adjust your dumbbells, grab those now. I told you, things are moving quick. Heart rate's gonna get up as well because we are working nonstop. But 45 seconds is coming up soon. Think about squeezing. You've got an egg in your underarm and you are trying to crack that egg. Right here, squeeze, good. Down and squeeze. Oh, the chest. The chest is gonna be so happy when this round is over. Giant sets, no joke, for real. And squeeze, almost there. Really working on muscular endurance today. Last one, get it up, good. You've got 45 seconds to rest. All right, so it's like a tornado just went through the room. That's gonna be how it's, that's gonna be how it's gonna go for the giant sets because we're gonna get right into that next exercise. So if you need to have your dumbbells ready to go, if you're gonna adjust weight in between, make sure you have those nearby. But we are working back next. So we're gonna work the right arm row first. We've got about 20 seconds, then we're gonna do that left row. So have your dumbbells for that. We're also gonna do a close grip row and we're gonna do a reverse grip row and a renegade row. So just to give you an idea of what we got going on, in case you need your dumbbells. If you have your box or your chair, grab that now to give you a little extra support for those rows. Getting ready to go though. Grab your dumbbell, row it out. Here we go. Back flat, core is engaged. Probably the easiest switch of the day is gonna be next, because all we're gonna do is switch sides. Whew. And if you need to take rest in between, 
your sets, go for it. But if not, I want you to keep pushing, challenging those muscles. <laughs> challenging the muscles, but also challenging the mind today on this one, because this is gonna be tough. Squeeze that shoulder blade around spine. Last one, squeeze it up. Good, and switch it over. Just switching to that other side. Here we go. Let that arm extend all the way down and then row up, keeping your arm close to your body. Close grip row is going to be next. I'm gonna use just one dumbbell and I'm gonna interlace my fingers around my dumbbell. Good, squeeze. You're over halfway through this set. And exhale. I should say through this exercise, not through the set, because we're not quite halfway through the giant set yet. Almost there. Come on, pull. Last one. All right, good. Close grip row now, back flat. No support from your box, bend it over, and we row. Bringing that dumbbell up into the chest, torso area, squeeze, keeping your arms close to your body, and exhale as you lift. Good, again, let those arms extend all the way down, full range to full range at the top, where you are squeezing your shoulder blades around spine. Just because we're moving quick in between sets does not mean I want you to rush each exercise. Oh, breathing, reverse grip row is going to be next. Last one. Good, dumbbells for reverse grip row. Let's move it, move it, move it. I'm rushing myself right now. You, you can take your time if you want. I'm just trying to get myself going. I feel like if I take too long of a break in between, I'm just gonna be hanging out. So I'm gonna keep myself moving. Oh, good. Breathing, squeeze. Oh my, the back, it is feeling it. Keeping good form. If you need to take a break and stand it up for a second, take a break, stand it up, get right back into it. Also for this exercise, don't let your back arch down or up. You wanna keep a nice, strong, straight back. So think about pushing your bum back a bit. Last one, going into renegade row now. You can do this with or without dumbbells. But if you're doing it without dumbbells, I really want you to think about squeezing your shoulder blades. In that plank position, feet are wider than shoulder width. One more thing to mention, don't let your shoulder roll open as you pull. Keep your shoulders square to the mat. Good, and squeeze. And you can of course do this on your knees as well if you need. The last exercise for our back giant set. Last one. Oh, amazing. Oh my, all right. Now we are hitting the biceps. You've got just over 30 seconds, so shake it out. Grab a drink, bring it up, clean up. I'm gonna clean up my space, so if you need to clean up your area a little bit, we'll have just under 30 seconds to do that now. But we're going into our first exercise, which is a bicep curl. We've got hammer curls, we've got wide curls, we've got alternating cross body curls, and then we've got 21s to finish out our giant set number three. So getting ready to go into regular bicep curls first, Actually, I'm gonna keep these nearby just in case I need to switch them out. But getting ready, three, two, and one. Bicep curls. Squeeze, good. All the way down, all the way up. Elbows tucked in. Shoulders down away from your ears as well. Don't try to lift the dumbbells by squeezing your shoulders up to your ears. You wanna keep everything nice and relaxed. In your upper body, just think about contracting your bicep muscle, that upper arm. Hammer curl's gonna be next. We're just gonna switch that hand position. Last one here. Good, control it down. Hammer curls, palms facing each other now. Lift and lower. Don't swing the weight to get it up. And if you think you need to adjust weight in between your giant set, go for it. I'm thinking to myself, I might need to adjust for these hammer curls or the wide curls next. Because my form is starting to get questionable. So that's the thing to keep in mind. When your form is 
getting a little willy-nilly, then think about lowering the dumbbells. No shame in lowering the dumbbells. You're keeping good form and you're getting stronger that way and you're staying safe. All right, wide curls are next. Whew. So palms out wide here. I, I like to compare the bicep curl and the uh, wide curl to a squat and a sumo squat. We've got the sumo squat, toes are turned out, feet wider. Same thing with your wide curl. You've got those arms out, squeezing. Good, all the way down. You're halfway through this exercise. Slight bend in the knee. Good. Oh, I told the upper body is in for a real treat today. If you haven't noticed the treat yet, it is on fire. Next exercise is that alternating cross body curl. So here we go, cross body. Oh, I love the alternating. It's giving those biceps just a little bit more of a break which we need right now, getting towards the end of this giant set. And I'm just gonna talk you through 21s, which is our next exercise, if you have not done those yet. 21s, we're gonna do seven curls from the bottom to halfway up. Then we're gonna do seven halfway to all the way up. And then we're gonna do seven full range of motion bicep curls, just normal hand position. That is 21, it's an the 21s, it's an amazing finisher for biceps. And we're gonna do that in just about five seconds. Squeeze, good, all right. Halfway, so down to the bottom, halfway up. Seven counts here. Here's three. Work at my pace, so we're on the same count. Four, five, good. Now, when we hit seven, here's seven, hold it up, all the way up now. Halfway down, here's two, three, four, good. Five, six, now it's full range here. Here's seven, all the way down, all the way up. Seven, seven, good. Six, okay, five, you've got it. Four, three, oh my gosh, rock it. Come on, two, and one. Amazing. Oh, you are the bomb. Shake your arms out. This is our 45 seconds of rest and recovery. Next, we are moving on to the back of the arm, the triceps. So hitting the triceps next. Shake your arms out though, give them a little bit of a stretch in between for triceps. We're gonna work a variety of moves all over the place. We're gonna have the box involved, we're gonna have our dumbbells involved, we're gonna do some body weight exercises. First exercise though is going to be a tricep kickback. So if you have your chair or your box, get that nearby because we are gonna do a seated overhead tricep extension. However, you can definitely do that standing as well. So let me just get things cleaned up really quick. So going into those kickbacks, Grab your dumbbells, we go in three, in two, and one. Let's rock it. Arms nice and close to your body. Extend all the way up. Really bring those dumbbells all the way in, and then extend. Hold it at the top for just a second. That hold at the top will not be long, because that's not something, if you're going heavy enough, that you're gonna be able to hold for a long amount of time. But while it's at, at the top, hold it for a second and then make sure you're controlling the dumbbells back in, not just letting them go. Seated overhead tricep extension is next. So grab your box. I'm gonna adjust with just one dumbbell for this one. Ooh. Having a seat and let's begin. Down and press. Keeping your core engaged, sitting up nice and tall here. Don't let your shoulders round forward. Really working on good posture with this exercise. And down. Oh, amazing. Now we're gonna use the box again. So if you have the box, we're gonna do a tricep push up on the box. You can do that on your knees or your toes. If you don't have the box, you will do that on the floor. Same thing, knees or toes. And we're gonna do that in three seconds, two, one, good, no dumbbell, but grab that box if you've got it. And let's begin. So incline tricep push-ups here, down and press. Arms nice and close to your body. Same thing, strong legs, strong glutes, strong core. Exhale as you press. 
Get the form right. Think about a nice, strong, straight line with your body. Lower down, power away. Good. Last one, we're going into skull crushers next. So we'll move that box, we'll pop down on the ground. I'm gonna use two dumbbells for this exercise. Lay it back. And here we go, down and press. You can use one dumbbell as well for this exercise. But I just feel a little bit more in control with my arms super shaky, so that's why I'd prefer to use two dumbbells for this one. Just a better grip for me. But whatever works best for you, this is your workout, so you make it count for you. I mean, you are showing up for just over 20 minutes today. Let's really rock it out. Next exercise is close grip press. So it's similar to that chest press, but arms are gonna be in nice and close, just like we're doing that tricep push up. So arms nice and close, grab your dumbbells. Timer is a ticking. I'm behind on the clock right now. But last exercise for this round and down. All the way down, all the way up, keeping your wrists nice and straight. Oh, good. You've got it, stay strong. We're almost there, we've got just under 20 seconds to work. And then you're gonna get a break. And press, good, last one. Down, oh, good. Sound effects are beginning because I don't even know if I can move myself right now. Oh my word. We are going to be shaking, that is for certain. We have one muscle group left. That is the shoulder. So we are gonna hit the shoulders. Oh, so good right now. And then our giant set number six is one exercise from each of those rounds. So that is all we have left. Keep your mind here, keep strong. We are so close. We are going into our first exercise, which is the shoulder press. So grab your dumbbells for that and let's get ready to go. I'm gonna keep this set. I'm gonna have a lighter and a heavier set for this one just to make sure Got my dumbbells close by. So let's bring it up. We go in three, two, one. Good. Go heavy and then go slow. So you can really maximize this exercise right here. Breathing, press. Couple more reps and then we're gonna go into an open and closed shoulder press. Good, last one, down. Open and closed shoulder press is next. I'm gonna adjust my weights down just a little bit for this one. So we're gonna be, we're gonna be closed, open, up, down. We're open, we close. Oh my goodness. The, uh, shoulders is gonna be a tough round because the upper body is already fatigued and we are finishing out now. Good. Almost there. Then we've got steering wheel. I'm gonna use just one dumbbell for this exercise. Last one. Good, all right. One dumbbell, you're gonna bring that weight up so you're parallel to the floor, then you're gonna turn your steering wheel right and left. So lift it up, arms parallel, turn and turn. I do love working shoulders, I have to say that. But, well there's no but really. I love working shoulders, so I actually really enjoy the burn. Because I know that means we are getting stronger. Good. And let me just put this out here. The burn does not always indicate that you are getting a good workout, that it is the lactic acid buildup. But I do, I do love the burn. <laughs> Last one. Now going into a bent arm lateral raise. So just like this, arms about 90 degrees when we bring those up and down. So think about keeping those arms parallel as well. Whew. Good. Breathing. We're gonna have one final exercise and that is going to be an Arnold press 
seated on the box. So if you have your box or your chair, grab that. And if you're ever wondering about the box, where you can find that, I got mine on Amazon and I have a link in the description just in case you're looking for a box because I absolutely love the box. Last one. And if you've noticed, we do use this in a lot of the exercises. That was not a good way to use my weights. I just want to clarify that so everyone knows. Don't try to lift your weights in box like that at the same time. Putting a, putting a warning out there now. Good. Keep that core engaged, chest up. Breathing. Oh, come on. We've got it. Finish strong. One giant set remains where we're going to hit all those muscles again. Almost there, last one. Up strong and down. Oh, amazing job. All right, breathe it out. This is where we work one last time through. So we are working for what, just over about two minutes and 40, 50 seconds. So that's gonna be the time that we have set. That's it. So you know, you've got this. We are gonna go in just about 20 seconds. So get yourself ready, get yourself psyched up if you need to. We will not use the box, so you can pop that out of the way. Our first exercise is going to be a push up. Then we're gonna hit the back with just a normal row. So have your dumbbells nearby for that. We've got curls, overhead tricep extension, and then finally shoulder press. So get your dumbbells. We're going in three, in two, and one. Here we go. Strong and straight. Push that floor away. Exhale as you push up. Good, halfway. Then we're gonna bring it right up, four rows. Last one. Good, bring it up, four rows. Both arms at the same time. Back flat, core engaged, and squeeze, good. Extend all the way down, all the way up. Just because we're moving quick from exercise to exercise, still keep that pace. Nice, slow, and controlled. Bicep curls, that's next. In just about 10 seconds, we're gonna go. Squeeze your shoulder blades around your spine. Last one here. Good. Right up for bicep curls, here we go. And squeeze. Had to adjust my hair out of the microphone. So there wasn't any silly noises from my hair. Good, squeeze, overhead tricep extension is next. So you can use one or two dumbbells, whatever you're comfortable with. Breathing, almost there. Last one, overhead tricep extension. Here we go. No, you have two exercises left. The overhead tricep extension here, then the shoulder press. All the way down, all the way up. Good, breathing. I will say, with this format, the time seemed to go by super quick. I cannot believe we're almost at 25 minutes. <laughs> that flew by. <laughs> oh, shoulder press is gonna be next. <sighs> Let's do one more, one more, come on. Last time for triceps. All right, hitting the shoulders. <sighs> Let's go. Last 40. Breathing, keep it strong. Definitely grab a stretch after this because the muscles are gonna need it, especially may have some muscle soreness after this one because this is a new challenge. We have 
This is what Revive, all of Revive has led up to. This was the grand finale. Fireworks in all of the muscle groups. Okay, that's how I'm, that's how I'm seeing it right now. Last one. Oh my goodness. Oh, you are amazing. That was such a tough upper body workout, but you killed it. Now do not forget to grab that stretch. Thank you again for joining me and I love ya.